and welcome to this video in which I'm building the Bandai 172nd scale model of the Imperial TIE Fighter. If you find it enjoyable and useful then please remember to like the video below and whilst you're there why not subscribe to the channel to see other build projects as they're completed as well as tips and tricks for modelers of every level. Let's kick off by seeing what's in the box. Here we are. Now the first thing we notice are these instructions in full colour as usual with Bandai. Fairly clear, very straightforward. Um, yeah, there's, there's options here that you can do. It's pretty clear what you can do, what you can't do, painting guide and so on. All very good, very clean. Next we have lots and lots of plastic parts. Let's have a look at some of these. Okay, so we have the big solar panels here at the ends. We have the structures for the solar panels as well. We've got uh, some there and some there. We've got the uh, cockpit structure and the bodywork here. And here we have the display that we can mount it on. Okay, all very good. We have also a transparency here which is optional you can just use a frame which has got no glass in it at all um, there's this colored laser beam thing if you want for display and then we have the decals now you have two sets you have the decals which are the conventional ones you have you, know, you slide off in water and then put on and you also have stickers that just peel off and stick in place that's that The first thing we need to do, as always, is to give the parts a gentle clean in a mild detergent, say a few drops of washing up liquid in a cup of water. This cleans any oil residue left over from the moulding process. Now, even if you're not painting the kit, this will help decals and stickers adhere to the plastic better. If you are painting the kit, then when it's dry, give it a gentle coat of primer. When cutting the parts from the sprue, I use these modelling nippers but any sharp and narrow pointed cutters will do. Try to cut as close as you can to the part. I like to paint the smaller parts while they're still attached to the sprue. Now here I'm painting the pilot with a black helmet and face mask, then the flight suit in black with just a bit of blue paint added. The breathing kit will be black too. With the pilot painted, there are two decals to go on the sides of his helmet. While those are drying, I'll put together the control column. I can now glue the pilot onto his seat back and then put this into the base of the cockpit. Then I can add the control column I built a moment ago. The next job is to place the decals inside the cockpit. There are a lot of these and the instructions aren't incredibly clear where they all go, but do what you can and they'll look fine. With that done, you can assemble the cockpit capsule. Place the floor into the back and then push the front half on. With that done, you can add a base plate. The capsule is now complete, so you can fit it into the fighter's main body. This comes in two halves front and back, just push them firmly together. Next come the clear parts of the body, a top plate and the front window. Now I'm spraying the kit, so I've masked off the bits I want to stay clear with masking tape cut to shape. There is a windowless frame option as well if you want, or you can paint these with a brush. There are a few extra detail pieces here to add around the body. This bottom cap can 
just be twisted on if you want to be able to remove it later, but I'm gluing it in place. Lastly, I'm going to fit the laser cannon barrels before the body gets another coat of primer and all over mid gray paint. When the paint is dry, I can remove the masks and the windows are clear and the body construction is finished. The wings next, and this structural piece has this little plastic bobble that needs removing before you go any further. These two slots in the middle show you which way round the structure fits onto the solar panel piece. It simply pushes into place. Flip the piece over and this slot sets the opposite structural piece the right way round, again to be push fitted as well. Then you work your way around the wing fitting the end plates into place. That done, you've completed one wing. Just do the same again for the other side. Turning to decorating the body, and these decals are supposed to go over all this detail in the plastic. They'll, they'll not sit very well on here, so I'm going to paint most of the detail in myself. The rest of the small decals, or stickers if you're using them, can then be set in place. Once everything's dried, we can fit the wing by pressing the body into the centre fitting as seen here. Then do the same for the other side and the TIE Fighter is almost complete. Before going much further, I'm going to add some bits of detail to the stand. It's been spray painted white, but I'm adding thin black paint to bring out the joints and some other details. Load the brush wet and then just touch where you want it to go the paint will tend to flow into the detail for you. Sit the TIE Fighter on its stand, add the clear green laser beams and you're complete. I think this TIE Fighter is a great starter kit in the Bandai Star Wars range and it's a perfect gift for any Star Wars fan. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like it below and while you're there subscribe to my channel for more builds for the beginner and for the more advanced modeler. You can even buy me a cup of coffee below. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time. <laughs>